We're going through the entire list and miss just one person. I'm a home shitter! I'm a home shitter! The winner of the Battle Royale Summer R&B 2006 is, of course, Nelly Potato. That's right. Nelly Potato is going to be all you color chicks this year. You got beat by Gwen Stefani last year, and Nelly Potato is going to kick your ass this year. Your ass is going to be officially kicked. And if you don't make no money out there, black girl, and right here between today and September 4th, and you let Nelly Furtado, she is Canadian of all things, and let her get all your monies, go on tours, and almost everybody is idle. At least the keys, making movies, Beyonce, everybody idle, and you can't get no guap. Call it a career. Call it a career. Nelly Furtado will win the Battle Royale, mark it down. And when it happens, you tell them Bardini said it first. And condolences to Britney Spears. I'm gonna stop talking about singers. You know what, ladies? Yeah, I know Kevin's in them. This is what happens, once again, when you deal with thugs. You want to deal with an idiot? You never seen a, a woman and she got like three or four kids by the same dumbass? You ask yourself, how come she didn't know he was a dumbass? Britney Spears. Perfect example. Perfect example. It's been proven. Don't be stupid. Watch who you sleep with. Watch who you fall in love with. And maybe get smile at a damn degree. What's the sense? Full career or talent, anything like that. And since we just talked about degrees, I would like to take a quick second to shout out all of the 2006 graduates, high schools, undergrads, grads. You're talking about medical school, law school, everybody who graduated college this year. If you left school with a talent or a, or a skill and you're really good at something, your life is set. I congratulate you. If you graduated from college in a major that is so, you know, it takes so much information to actually learn how to do it. You don't have to really be that talented like engineering for your boy Barty Beautiful. Listen. You have also set up a nice life for yourself. I salute you. You don't have to be great in it. You just have to maintain status quo. And someone will always pay you for that. I respect you, gangster. And for those of you who are going through the next stages of your career, your college, grad, undergrad, I salute you as well. For those of you undergraduate people who just graduated in any degree like art history, Physical education, horticulture, uh, horticulture uh, sociology, general math, any, anything like that. Any of those worthless majors sucks to be you. You've been duped. You have no skill, because I was the first few weeks graduated, and you don't even have a major that's worth a damn. You have been duped into giving your institution too much money, you will not succeed in life the way you have ex expected. A college degree guarantees you nothing, but you have loans. That's all it guarantees you. And if you're in that situation, I'm here to help. There's a lot of you out there with really punk ass majors. You, you went to school for business administration, you got tired and then you're like, you're an IST, but you really don't know how to make a database, you're screwed. You have no chance of having the life you thought you were going to have. How you going to get some money? Your boy Barty Beautiful has thought about it. I have some ways for you people. If you are still intelligent and just realize you made a mistake of how to get some money, some new careers for you. you don't have, it is, and it doesn't matter what your degree was in. These are all applicable for everybody. The easiest thing to do is to get into real estate. Be honest with you. Real estate is popping. I got a bunch of friends who went to school for one thing and they hated it and are all in real estate and are all doing very well because property will always go up. People will always want to buy and sell land. It's a finite amount. It's a great career. Quickly, you always do real estate. Now let's get to some more practical things for you idiots out there because most of the smart people, they're already in real estate. You're an idiot. I'm talking to the idiots right now. You can always do hair. 
Don't look down on hair. Do not do that. Do you not know that if I was not doing the show show, I would be doing somebody's weave right now? Do you know that the weave length has increased by 40% in the last 18 months? That's good monies. Men and women, it don't matter who you are, you trying to get some money. All that old Indian hair, Korean hair, we used to getting down in the buddy summertime. If you can put in a good weed real fast, you can make money. You can make dough. You don't have to style it, none of that stuff. You can just get it in their head fast, you make money. It's just an option. There's other options here. There's another option. You can start a daycare center. That's what a big money is. As a parent, daycare is a tremendous amount of money, and why aren't you getting some? I ain't saying you actually gotta do a good job with these people's children. Just watch them and make sure they don't get hurt. Or if you, but if you really about your money, get a, a, an ex-school teacher, like a retired teacher, to be your front woman or your front man and then have all this kind of educational stuff uh, surrounding your daycare center. We gonna teach your kids cursing and They got just nothing. Get a front person, watch their children, it will give you $500 a month. Mm. That's good money. Start a daycare center. Okay, here's another one. This is maybe, maybe this is just me, but you can always start your own Reader's Water Ice. Have you ever seen a Reader's Water Ice fail? That's not in the hood. Absolutely not. Reader's Water Ices that are not in the hood are 100% successful. You get all half the year, and the other half of the year, people can't stop giving you money. Reader's Water Ice, a cherry gallon with a little lemonade on top. $3.99. It costs you 84 cents to make. That's a nice profit. You can franchise yourself off Reader's Water Ice. You get a nice location, you're good. Don't put it in the hood, because the hood people end up taking all the water rights home, and that's where you lose all your money. Every reader that has died in the hood has not died because people didn't want water ice. It's because somebody there wanted too much water ice and started taking tubs home. That's always what happens. So don't put it in the hood, but you can make money. And, and maybe this is just me, but I think the greatest career any of you could have is as a, a superhero. And not like an excellent superhero. I mean like a Magnum P.I. Like MacGyver type dude and then charge people. See that was MacGyver's problem. He didn't even charge anybody. He was so nice and so generous. People just, you know, took advantage of MacGyver. What if you have MacGyver-like skills? You could take a bamboo, a baby diaper, uh, a gun, a gun pellet, and two sticks of a uh, koala leaf and a pack of bubble yum, and build a sand castle. That's talent. It's gonna take a little while to get all your stuff together, you know, to really learn how to do your MacGyver type stuff, or maybe like kung fu, or you just like walk the earth and find adventures, and people pay for that. I don't know if anybody else has ever done it, but I want to freaking do it. And if you can do it, let me know. Maybe we can go on the road. To those. I'm just giving y'all some hints. You ain't got to listen to me. You don't have to listen to me at all. I'm just trying to be there for you.